What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here. Now in this video, I'm gonna actually show you how to uh, install Kodi on um, the Fire TV stick. Now the Fire TV sticks, you can't you can't put a USB or anything because it's just a stick and then the power adapter and the HDMI. Now in order to put um, side loading Kodi on uh, a Fire stick is very simple. Uh, the first thing you need to know first is um, settings and you're gonna go to uh, system and then you're going to go to developer option and you're gonna pick ADB debugging on and then apps from unknown sources on and then don't worry about this just it's you could turn it off if you want to um, but for the time being to just to install it just go ahead and click OK now once you have done that now uh, just make sure your network is connected because uh, it's your home network and for us to figure it out because uh, we need the IP address. So what we're going to do is go to about and we're going to go to network and then where it says IP address is uh, 192.168.1.212. So usually it, it's going to be uh, 192.168.0 or .1 and then whatever the, the last uh, numbers is. And then from there, you're going to go on and open up uh, ADB, which is uh, um, the Kodi for Android Companion, which it could be for, uh, mostly for um, Fire Sticks or Amazon uh, TV, Fire, and all that. Now, um, it, it might look complicated once you turn it on, uh, once you open the, the ADB Fire, which I'll have a download link for you on the... Um, the description below so you can install it and make sure you guys uh, follow the thread and um, give thanks to the guy and the developers of it so it, you can install it on uh, Mac Windows and I think Linux I'm not too sure but um, I'm using the Mac as you can see once you open it it'd be a look like this so uh, at the very top it says current device well obviously we don't have one what we're gonna do is click on new and we're just gonna type right here uh, a fire stick or whatever you want right and then where it says address is you're gonna type the 192 that we saw from um, the fire stick itself so as you can see I'm gonna type the exact thing and then all this you could just leave it uh, for, for um, just leave it alone right and just go ahead and click Save now from there you're gonna go ahead and go to where it says connect and you're gonna connect now once you see this right here 192 that its status is device and you just choose it real quick and then right over here once it says install APK go ahead and click on that and then you're gonna go to the APK that you downloaded on um, Kodi on, on your browser or whatever and you're gonna go ahead and click OK and then this will come up it'll tell you that it's gonna install and go ahead and click yes now it will run right here ADB running uh, running for a little bit um, you could actually just leave your uh, Kodi I mean uh, your fire TV alone for a quick sec um, and then on my on the computer screen uh, it'll have this so let me go back once I have it installed okay now once it's installed you can see that um, it says installed already so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK uh, you don't have to disconnect if you don't have to what you're gonna go to in, in on your fire stick is you're gonna go down to where it says apps and then you'll see it right there and then it installed now you can actually go to it if you want and then you could install all your add-ons um, your your builds or anything like that now I'm going to show you how to actually um, import a build that you have on your uh, computer or Android once you do a backup zip and all that so as you can see I'm running uh, Kodi right now and then the system info is Kodi 16.1 so it might be the oldest one uh, build but it still works as you can see now um, once you quit out of this 
you exit it will go up to your uh, home tile now as you can see before you couldn't you had to do like some some, some like icon changing and stuff but now you could have Cody on there as well so this is on a fire stick now I'm gonna show you how to actually upload your build onto a fire stick using ADB fire as well now now that we had installed that already um, just to show you that I have a build right here as you can see I have the build so well, what I'm gonna do this might take a little while what you're gonna do is go to your uh, SD card right of the fire stick while you're still uh, connected and you're gonna go push and then you're gonna go to the build that you have and then just install a backup um, open backup USB SD card wizard which be will be down below in the description make sure you get that go ahead and click open this will come up again if you want to push meaning to to uh, put it inside the actual fire stick knowing that it's not a lot of uh, space but after you do the build you could actually delete it so go ahead and click yes and then this one might take a little while um, oh actually the other one the uh, the actual build so, so you see that it was uh, pushed already so I'm gonna go, go ahead and click OK and then if I go to my um, systems and go to settings and go to add-ons and then click OK and install from zip file and you're just gonna go to external storage and then you can see it right there in the bottom it's it's actually in the storage of the fire stick so once I click on this uh, it'll, it'll install right away so as you can see at the uh, bottom right corner and if I click on programs and then program add-ons and there it is it's functional and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and click exit out of here and I'm gonna I'm gonna push the actual um, backup zip file that I have so you can see so if I pushed click push and then click backup zip now you can see that it's 200 and about 57 megabytes which is gonna take a little while so I'm just gonna oh, uh, open that and go ahead and push that and let that run through and uh, make the magic of videos come through through right now okay now that took about like five minutes and I'm on a pretty good Mac uh, mini that I have and that took about five minutes so patience is a virtue um, once you finish it'll, it'll say file pushed already and go ahead and click OK and then go ahead and go back to your fire stick and then open up Cody again once you open that up what you're gonna do is just to make sure it's there go to file manager go to uh, actually add source browse external storage and you're not gonna see that the backup zip file is there because it, it doesn't show it for some reason on Kodi um, you'll have to install a um, file explorer on the um, fire stick and stuff like that so I know that it's there so uh, we're gonna go ahead and cancel that uh, we're gonna go to programs and then we're gonna go to program add-ons and then we're gonna push the menu button which is the three lines on your remote and go to add-on settings and go to choose USB SD card wizard and we're gonna go external storage because that's where it's pushed and go ahead and click OK you, you know that it's there now um, to make sure it's actually there this is the only way to find out that it's actually there go ahead and click OK once you click this you'll see backup and restore uh, go ahead and click restore and if this shows up then you 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 did pick the right folder and if it doesn't then uh, it probably didn't finish the file uh, transferring or or something right or you just gotta look uh, install a, um, a file explorer app on fire stick so go ahead and click full restore and then just give that a few seconds now everything is um, you're actually done with the ADB fire um, you could actually uh, click on disconnect 
and then there it is now if you want to delete the fire stick you could just go ahead and click delete after that and go ahead and click yes and then that's about it with the ADB fire on a fire stick uh, hopefully that helps out um, I, I sh I'm showing you that you could restore a backup zip file I won't show you how it looks but that that's basically it after you do that now if you do have a, a wizard build you could just type the file manager add source and all that stuff um, hopefully this helps out and again thanks for watching thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and like our videos and follow us on twitter at xbm connect to keep up with the updates